Let's go, last one. Let's go, last one. Come on, let's go. Yep. Come on, get five. Five more. Let's go.
five more. Come on, five. Get five more. All right, just wrapped up a really good shoulder workout. Uh, the plan wasn't to come in pressing today after chest yesterday, but things felt good. And um, you know, the goal was just to get some blood in the shoulders, do some recovery work, a lot of delt work. Uh, ended up starting out on the Smith machine to hit the behind the head military press on a Smith machine. And just from there, things started feeling, feeling really good. Uh, ended up doing six sets on the Smith machine, just getting a lot of blood in the muscle. And like I said, things were feeling really good. So I moved over to uh, a standing overhead press. Obviously did not go very heavy. It was just enough weight uh, for me to get those sets and reps done. Uh, did six sets. I think it, the rep range was uh, eight to 10 on those. Uh, from there, I moved into a barbell upright row. Uh, that was definitely on the agenda today, so uh, those felt really good. Uh, got a lot of blood in the front delt, into the trap. Uh, you know, those upright rows, um, you know, they can be manipulated to really hit the traps too and really help separate uh, the trap uh, and the shoulder. And so I, you know, really kind of emphasized uh, that today with uh, obviously uh, the front of the shoulder for the upright rows. I uh, ended up doing six sets there and then moved over to some side laterals with dumbbells. Uh, and then moved over into a barbell uh, front raise. Uh, those are probably one of my favorite front raises uh, for front delts. Uh, those felt really good. Uh, and then finished with a finisher, just had some 10 pound plates uh, and kind of found a balance between the front shoulder and the, or the, the front delt and the side delt kind of in the middle spot between the two uh, and just repped out uh, some reps there. Uh, you could call it a side lateral type movement if you want to, but the goal was just to get a ton of blood in the muscle, use extremely lightweight, uh, and again, get some high reps with that. So I finished with that, and everything felt really good today. I was really happy with that. Uh, like I said, after you know chess yesterday, the goal was not to come in here uh, and do much pressing at all, but after hitting that Smith machine for the first exercise, uh, I figured I'd push myself a little bit and do some pressing. So overall, solid day. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into some questions and comments. There are not many here, uh, but either way, I definitely want to hit some of these. Again, this is just a way for me to show my appreciation to all of you for uh, either throwing the questions on the channel or comments or just viewing uh, so let's jump right into it got the first one here from ortho bro 3 uh, just says thanks for answering my question bro appreciate it absolutely uh, appreciate obviously the question and your involvement on the channel ortho bro so shout out to you and hopefully it wasn't too confusing and I was able to at least answer some of it for you so uh, appreciate that uh, got one here from Peter Miller uh, Peter Miller uh, back on it love seeing the comments Peter 
uh, it just says, hey BG, that was an insane chest workout. It brought me back to my Mondays as chest days from years ago. Keep hitting the iron hard. Absolutely will, Peter Miller. Appreciate the comment. Another one from uh, Pete Pear Smith, P Dog, just says, Yuppers, P Dog, and my white brother from another mother. Get it done today. We sure did. We killed it. Uh, P Dog, appreciate your comments. Hopefully, you smashed it as well. It sounds like you did. Got another one here from Mr. Uh, Persky, uh, per per se, per Perk say, sorry if I if I butchered that. Uh, your workouts are awesome. Love the home gym. Appreciate that. Shout out to you. I uh, got another one here from Aaron Soloway. Uh, no way, you look like Bane's dad. <laughs> Shout out to that. Uh, yeah, I get the uh, Bane comment every once in a while. Appreciate the comment, bro. Shout out to you for that. Got another one here from French Gamer 9209 What time are you going to bed if you work out at 2.30 a.m.? I am in bed before 9 o'clock. I operate really well on 5 to 6 hours of sleep. I do get that question a lot. As you see, most of my workouts are extremely early in the morning, and I just have to get the workout and the training done. Uh, i got a busy life, busy work, busy uh, with kids and practice, and love spending time with family and my girlfriend. So I get up early and get it done. But I, I average about 5 to 6 hours of sleep, and that works really well for me so appreciate the question I uh, got one here from uh, lit with many you Nas 3401 sorry if I butchered that just says we uh, should you do arm workout twice a day for size and gain um, uh, please reply. Uh, as far as arms go, I wouldn't do them twice a day. What I would do them at least twice a week. I would do a uh, complete arm day, so hitting the biceps and the triceps, and then I would add the triceps and the biceps uh, to a split. So again, doing maybe like back and buys, uh, chest and tries, shoulders and tries, um, you know, chest and biceps. Uh, so then do, so again, so do a full arm day, so buys and tries as one workout, and then during the week, uh, add them to a split. So add them to one of your other body parts. So that would be my feedback uh, on that. Appreciate the question. Another one from Matthew Strength with emojis, of course. Shout out to you, Matthew, Matthew Strength. Uh, and the last one here from Wilt5396 just says, awesome channel. Truly appreciate that. Shout out to you. All right, guys, with that, I'm going to wrap this thing up and we'll see you guys for the next workout.